What, what do you think it is? A disease. It sounds like a person that can't walk. I think he has a crutch. Hold him up. Cruise Phil? Is that right? Disease about broken bones. Sounds like some kind of plastic surgery. Disease, do you think it is? I have no idea what it is. Kreuzfeldt's Jacob disease, also known as CJD, is a degenerative neurological disorder. It's a form of brain damage that leads to a rapid decrease of mental function, and is also known as the mad cow disease um, for humans. The disease was first described by a German neurologist named Hans Gerard Kreuzfeldt in 1920, and shortly afterwards by Alphonse Maria Jacob, hence the name Kreuzfeldt Jacob disease. Um, there are four main types. There are sporadic, variant, genetic, and eintrogenetic. Sporadic was first described in 1921 and it's the most commonest form of the disease. Variant was first identified in 1996 and this one is BSE related, BSE being the um, mad cow disease. Uh, genetic CJD is an extremely rare form of the disease. It's actually inherited, so if you have a, a background of or if your family has a history of neurological disorders, then you have a chance of getting it. Eintrogenetic CJD is when the disease is accidentally acquired, acquired through a medical accident, so that is the one that's like the most rare. Um, sporadic CJD occurs in sporadic cases worldwide. It has a very low rate of one case per million per year. It has only been reported in 50 countries, and the most affected patients range from 40 years old to 75 years of age. There have been cases, however, where the patient has been as young as 16 years old and as old as 85 years old. Um, there have been a reported 73 families known worldwide with more than one case of CJD, a total of 286 cases. In the U.S., CJD deaths among people younger than 30 years old is extremely rare. There have no, been no cases of the eatrogenetic CJD um, reported due to the adoption of current sterilization processes which were input in 1976. Kreutzfeldt Jakob disease is marked by rapid mental deterioration, usually within a few months. Initial signs and symptoms of Kreutzfeldt Jakob disease typically include personality changes, anxiety, depression, memory loss, impaired thinking, blurred vision, insomnia, difficulty speaking, difficulty swallowing, and sudden jerky movements. As the disease progresses, mental symptoms worsen. Most people lapse into a coma. Heart failure, respiratory failure, failure, pneumonia, or other infections are generally the cause of death. The disease usually runs its course in about seven months, although a few people may live up to one or two years after diagnosis. Thank you. Etiological aging is caused by a prion. In normal brain cells, a normal gene produces a normal prion protein, but in CJD, it somehow transforms and becomes an abnormal protein. In 90% of cases, an external prion is the most common cause of CJD. The remaining 10%, however, is documented to be a genetic mutation caused by an internal source. CJD is quite similar to another disease named bovine spongiform encephalitis or mad cow disease. This is caused by a prion surface, SIAG glycoprotein to be exact, that is encoded by a gene on chromosome 20. The agent that causes CJD has several characteristics that are unusual for known organisms such as viruses and bacteria. The disease is very difficult to kill and there's no genetic information in the form of DNA or RNA. You do realize that prions are a, are a cell, you fucking retard. <laughs> Sporadic CJD may develop because normal prions spontaneously change into the infectious form of the protein. These abnormal proteins then aggregate together leading to neuron loss and brain damage. 
one of the funny part about that is, sounds like some shit that you have. All right. An <laughs> estimated 5 to 10 percent of CJD cases are inherited. Most researchers believe an unusual slow virus causes CJD. Infected individuals might not even know they're infected until it's too late, since incubation periods take up to 50 years before symptoms even show up. Till this day, scientists have never been able to isolate a virus or organism in infected individuals. Damn it. Okay, for prevention, if you have family history of neurological diseases, it may be real difficult to prevent or you will just have to cope with it for later purposes when it's fully de developed. <clears throat> As to prevent it from spreading, restrictions on tissue, blood, and sperm donation have been made in case the CJD has altered your genes into infecting somebody else. As for treatment, well, there really isn't a treatment because all antibiotics, antivirals, and steroids have been useless. So if you have it, well, you're fucked. Kreutzfeldt Jakob disease. Kreutzfeldt Jacob disease. Four. Jacob. Kreutzfeldt Jacob's disease. Jacob. Team Jacob disease. Yeah. Okay, go. Okay, you can go. And action. You have to actually speak. I'm gonna put this in the video. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Disease. You have to say it. Yeah. So, okay, so the, one of the real ways to say it is put your Yakub. Where did that ya come from, right? Well, the J. Yeah, the J. But you can say Chris Jacob also. Well, I, the U.S. a lot of people say Jacob. But it's The name really derived from a Yakub. It's not Jewish. Well, Yakub is a Swedish thing. It sounds Jewish. No, that's a Jewish name, isn't it? No. Jacob. Yakub. I used to know somebody. You mean the original derivation of the name? Probably. I don't know. But then it's not. I don't know. Where are you from? You sex of things, sex of things. Oh, you look at me. You believe in miracles. Thank you, you do a lot of things. Fucking shit, dude. Cut.